Hey friends, we are excited to announce the launch of a new online ministry training program called Emmaus Online. Oh, we're doing the short one? No, I would just, I just, I'll do the same thing I did, but then you talk about ah, it a little I bit. You know, the same thing in <laughs> Jerusalem. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'll do that, and then you, you kind of talk about it free wheel. You, you just, you, 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 you freestyle it, and then I'll just kind of throw in a couple quick little comments, and then you wrap it up. Does cool. that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Should I do it? Should I change the introduction? No, it's great. Since I got it down, I may as well stick with it. Seventeenth <laughs> so. time's the charm, baby. <laughs> Hey friends, we are excited to announce the launch of a new online ministry training program called Emmaus Online. We wanted to take a few minutes and just talk through the motivation behind the school while we're launching it, kind of how the school is going to run, who's it for, and some of the details for you to consider and pray about doing. Um, you know, the background to launching it is that over the last number of years, we've run a number of different training programs, initiatives, apprenticeships, mentoring contexts for training leaders and pioneers in the Middle East. And it's been amazing. The Lord has sent some incredible people, uh, some amazing initiatives and communities have been launched out of that. It's, it's been an honor and a privilege to be a part of that. We love training. We believe in training and equipping. Uh, but something is kind of, uh, it's been a burden for a number of years is that we get a lot of emails, phone calls, uh, uh, engagement from people saying, hey, uh, Dalton, Joel, we, we want to engage, but we're, we're either we're not called to move to the Middle East or it's just we're not able to because of the season that we're, of life we're in. You know, I'm a house mom in Cincinnati. I'm going to med school in London. I'm, you know, the list goes on and on. Regardless of location or vocation, we've had a lot of inquiries about training for people to engage un unreached people groups where people are at, not just in the Middle East. And the reality is the Middle East has come to many of our hometowns. You know, I think uh, a lot of uh, states in the U.S. now are harboring, I mean, it, it's like going to the Middle East. You go to some communities, you know, we get emails from people in Detroit or Atlanta saying, hey, there's a, a growing Muslim population here. We want to engage. Do you guys have tools to, to train us to engage? And so it's something we've talked about for a number of years, and we felt like the Lord said, now is the time to launch this. And so what we've done is we've pulled together some of our favorite spiritual moms and dads, mentors, pioneers, visionary leaders who've really led the way and who've been engaged uh, with us as a spiritual family, coaching, leading, consulting, championing us as an organization. And what we want to do is essentially open up the, the wealth of resources of these individuals to you, regardless of maybe you're a student and going to college, maybe you're a mother of four at home, maybe you're a lawyer, maybe you're a nurse, maybe you're going to med school. Here, here's the message of Emmaus Online to you. Regardless of your location, regardless of your vocation, if you have a pulse, if you love Jesus, if you love the lost and un engaging unreached people groups and you love the appearing of the Lord, this is a very good opportunity to grow as a leader. And here's the thing, you know, something that we've been grappling with for a number of years is that in modern Western Christianity, our church culture revolves around one guy. It, by and large, our churches are run by the guy on the platform who tells everyone the stuff and everyone listens and that's in general that's kind of 90 percent of church culture in a lot of churches i know that's a blanket statement but in general it's a pastor teacher leading and one of the things that the lord has really burdened our hearts with over the last number of years in particular is that ephesians 4 paul states very clearly that the grace of god has been given to each one of us for the manifestation of christ in us not just one guy which means this regardless of your location regardless of your vocation god has a calling on your life and an assignment for you to influence people for the wonder and the glory of the gospel and so our one of our fundamental driving convictions behind the school is you know, a lot we hear ministry training or leadership development, etc., and you think, ah, I'm not a pastor, I'm not a Bible teacher, so therefore maybe I'm not called to ministry. We want to say, no, 
regardless of your location, regardless of your vocation, and you want to be equipped to be a faithful witness of the gospel in your context, whether that's LA or Auckland, New Zealand, Australia, South America, whatever, this is a really good opportunity for you to grow as a disciple and as a disciple maker. And we'll talk about the, the, the terminology of Emmaus and why that's so meaningful to us in a minute. But I, I know Joel has some things he wants to share behind the motivation behind the school as well. So I'll come back to Emmaus here in a moment. Sure. Yeah, no, I mean, as Dalton said, um, I know he gets a lot of emails. I get a lot of emails. Folks say, Joel, I've read your books. I've heard you speak somewhere. We've watched the Covenant Controversy films. We've seen what FAI is doing in Syria and Iraq and these different things. And we really love it. We're on board with the vision. We're on board with the heart behind all of it. But as Dalton said, not everybody is necessarily called to frontier, frontline uh, missions. Not everyone is called to move to Syria, and, and by no means do we ever want to convey that message. However, we are all called to minister. And so this, this training program, it's really not just a, it's not a, we're trying to recruit people to FAI. This is sort of FAI's gift and friends of FAI really coming together, gift of the body. We want to equip the body of Christ to go and empower their local bodies um, the, the churches, congregations, communities that you're part of to reach and impact your city. We want to empower the larger body of Christ. And it specifically, you know, it will carry the sort of the flavor um, that FAI carries, that I carry, you know, a very um, day of the Lord focused outlook and how the return of Jesus and the yearning for his appearing drives and motivates us to give ourselves to evangelism, to the gospel, to missions, to holiness, to all of these things a very, we'll say, Israel-centric understanding of the big story of redemption, understanding the importance of the Middle East. Um, it's not a comprehensive program. Obviously, we have our particular focus, and so the program will carry um, the focus that we have, that the Lord has laid on our hearts. So, again, if this is something that the Lord has sort of, um, you've identified with that as you've tracked with a lot of our stuff, then this program uh, is, is for you. One of my favorite passages in the whole Bible is in Luke 24, where it says these two disillusioned, depressed, despondent disciples leave Jerusalem after Jesus' crucifixion. It says they're walking along the, the road to Emmaus, which is uh, about seven miles outside Jerusalem. And it said that Jesus came up alongside of them, disguised himself somehow. I don't know how this worked, but we know what happened. And he walks alongside and says, why are you guys depressed? And they say, are you the only person in the area that hasn't heard about what happened? And Jesus rebukes them and says, you know, essentially you guys don't believe the scripture. And, it, and Luke records that he opened up the scriptures and he preached himself to them from the scriptures and opened up the scriptures to them. It says this, he opened up the scriptures to them. And then it said he opened up their minds for them to understand the scriptures. Then Jesus, they, they get to these guys' house and Jesus is going to keep on walking. And they say, hey, stay with us. So they go in, they're sitting around the table. It says he broke bread and immediately their eyes were open. And so this, this story is really the basis and the motivation behind the school on a fundamental biblical conviction level. And here's the conviction. The disciples, this, this is just amazing to me. When, the, when Jesus disappeared, they didn't say, why did he disguise himself? Why did he leave? What the heck happened? They didn't ask any of those questions. They asked one question. It was this. Did not our hearts burn within us when he opened up the scriptures to us? I'm, I read that story and I go, do you know how many questions I would be asking? I, there's 50 questions I would be asking, yet they ask that question. And here's the, the message of Luke 24. Jesus wanted and required that those two young men encounter Jesus in the scripture and get a burning heart before he commissioned them to ministry and to the nations. And I think so often we put ministry before the burning heart. And what we want to say is, yes, we want to, we want to be equipped and we want to equip you for the work of ministry, but we want to do it with a burning heart. And we want to do it as those who have the scriptures open to us, have our minds opened, and have our eyes open. And we want to break the bread of the word together in the place of interaction and fellowship together and walk with Jesus as he opens the word to us. And so that's what we want to invite you into in this school. Walk with Jesus on a road, on a journey, and let him open up the scriptures and cause your heart to burn so that you can be a faithful witness wherever he calls you to. And our aim in this is not to recruit people to FAI. 
we take very seriously the A in the Frontier Alliance International. We believe in alliance and we want to pour into, you know, this, this would be a great program for pastors, for youth pastors. If you're on a missions board, if you're in church leadership, if you're a part of a missions base, house of prayer, whatever community you're in and you want to upskill and go deeper in the word. But at the same time, we want to be clear about this too on the front end. This is not a Bible school. So it's going to be very actionable, meaning how does this impact leadership, ministry, pioneering? How do we engage in our local communities? Whether that's in Syria or whether that's in, in Miami, we want to engage and we want to call you to engagement and give you tools. And one of the things that I've realized over the last number of years being involved in missions is that a lot of times we have so much conviction that we want to engage in mission, but we don't have the tools to do it. And so what we want to connect you with is moms and dads, veterans, pastors, leaders, apostolic, visionary guys and gals, connect you with them for you to hear and receive from them, but to interact with them live. And so the format of the school is going to be pre-recorded videos and content and things, but it's going to be interactive. So a number of times a week, you're going to be interacting with the instructor for that month. So for example, you'll have a month with Joel and you'll be engaging with the content over that whole month and it will be live interaction video conferencing with Joel over the subject material that you're studying and going through. And, and then there'll be someone accompanying Joel to help engage as well, to engage with the questions, the dialogue, and it creates a, a dynamic sense of community as well to go together somewhere. And you're gonna get to know everybody all around the world through this online platform. You know, you do a, a, a month with me, you do a month with uh, a church planter in the Middle East, you get a month with a, a veteran missionary couple, you get a month with a, a, a pastor, you get a month with, it's going to be a, a smorgasbord of resources and input from some incredible people. And they are some of the most amazing people that I know alive on the earth today. And that's not a hyperbole. Some of the people that are going to be engaging in this are going to be, it's, it, it's going to be a phenomenal program. So I think the thing that's so unique about this is that we've gathered together such a great group of high quality voices, teachers, and leaders. Again, you're not going to find uh, really any two of these individuals at the same university, seminary, or so forth. Um, and so through the power of video and the internet, you can sit in the comfort of your own home, your own city, and bring together all these different voices with similar, unique, uh, sort of the synergistic, catalytic heart. Uh, for the same vision. There is work to be done. There's some reading material and so forth, but it's not overly uh, it's not overly burdensome. You're able to work day to day, raise a family and still engage, engage in the online interactive part of it. Now the program is going to begin in February of 2019 and then in January 2020 we're actually going to meet here in Israel to graduate in Jerusalem and all sort of meet together face to face and so that's sort of the culmination uh, of the one year of Emmaus Online. So if you want to find out more information, if you have specific questions, it's not addressed here in the video, if there's things that you want to chat. Uh, with one of our staff about who's facilitating the school, you can go to faimission.org and click on the training tab and you can read more about the school on there. Or you can email us at emmausonline at faimission.org. Now we're going to be limiting the number of students because it's interactive and we want to make it as effective and as intimate as possible. We're limiting the number of students. So if you want to apply, you should do so as soon as possible to get on the list because if it's the kind of thing that if, if you wait, you, you won't have a place. And as much as we'd like to open it up to a large group of people, it, it, it doesn't work with a large group of people because it needs to be... Uh, it needs to be intimate so that we can engage because the thing is, you know, Paul said a statement and I'll, I'll close with this. Paul said a statement to the Corinthians. He said, you have many teachers, but you don't have many fathers. And I think that's a, you know, it's just a banner over our generation that has so much information out there, but there's not a whole lot of proximity and contact to, to people who have the tools that you can go to and sit at their feet. And so, you know, for example, one of the one of the instructors, they've been in a very difficult country in the Middle East for over 30 years. And to be able to engage with them over a month, we want you to have the, the context to engage and to to learn from them, not just in a Western intellectual way. Meaning we want there to be opportunity to engage with questions, to hear stories, to talk about application. How do you actually take this information 
and assimilate it, metabolize it, get it into our DNA so that we as disciples and disciple makers engage. It's, the point is this, it's not a theology school. We take theology very seriously and we believe in doctrine and Bible. We love the word, but at the same time, you can know the word and not have tools for leadership and for pioneering and just have a lot of information in your head. And so we want this to be very practical, very oriented around leadership and actionable engagement. So if this moves you, if you're excited about this, reach out to us. We'd love to have a conversation with you about it and point you towards the application process. Thank you for listening and we look forward to seeing you in 2019 and in Israel in 2020, which sounds crazy that we're already at 2020. So bless you.